Alright everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. On today's video we are here with episode number 12 of the Resident Evil 7 playthrough. We're right here where we left off. My quick resume actually worked, so it's been sitting on the pause screen since I turned it off last week. Um, in the exact same position I left. I don't have to move anywhere, we're right where we left off. I even went back and watched a little bit of the end of the last video just so I could make sure I knew what was going on. Seems I did kind of leave off at an awkward moment. But... I think there's enough left here for another episode, and I knew that, so I was kind of like, we're already at our threshold, we should leave it, move on. So that's what I did. So here we are. Um, whether this series follows through for the week or not, I do not know. But if it doesn't, and we end this episode, this episode for example, I, I don't know how long this will last, but say we finish this series, this episode right here, then the next series is going to be jumping straight into Resident Evil 8. I'm not going to mess around, we're jumping straight into it. Um, I have uploaded two Resident Evil 8 videos on this channel before, it was a long time ago. If anyone is watching this series, they definitely probably weren't around to watch that one. If they were, I apologise. But um, I'm going to go back over that game with a little bit more insight, obviously coming straight off Resident Evil 7, so the consistency will be a lot better. And just all of that good stuff, and we're going to play through that next. And after that, I don't know what's next after, but I did have a plan that after I finish 7... We'll go play 8. But now that I think about it, we also have DLCs for Resident Evil 7 to do as well. Um, I've kind of just completely skipped over that fact, haven't I? So yeah, we'll probably end up playing the DLCs first. But Resident Evil... There, there's confirmation that Resident Evil 8 is coming soon. Just to get that uh, known, I suppose. The two DLCs we will play, if we do play DLC, will be uh, End of Zoe and the one with Chris Redfield in it. I don't know its exact name. But they're the two main storyline DLCs that actually, like are important and kind of factor in from the lot into the next game in a way I think um, the the other ones are just mini games more so I don't know but either way our focus this episode is obviously to just play the main story and that's what we're up to so if sitting on the pause screen I just don't know what's next so I don't want to progress any further while I'm talking and then end up getting absolutely shit on so I don't know and there's an alarm going so I just thought it'd be easy to talk while it's quiet but with that said if you guys do enjoy this one please make sure you leave a like triple sub notification bell also make sure to come check out my twitch stream and without further ado let's get into it all right back into horror yippee i need to uh, keep my eyes peeled that's for sure target acquired okay oh yeah great I don't like this audio at all, bro. Uh, so she's in here. She's gonna jump scare me. This is exactly where my character's sitting right now, in the present day. She's obviously further in. There's someone. Is that our companion? How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Alan, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie, trying to take mean, control. You have to fight her. Ooh. Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't! Interesting. This is still flashback, correct? So am I molded now? What's the go? I 
I know if I'm still meant to be looking for loot. I know it's a flashback, so realistically, I can't bring anything with me. Uh. Oh, shit. There you go. Ethan did not listen. What the fuck is this? Long hallway. The fuck? We'll be together forever. Doesn't the baker's fish her out? I think I read that in a file. I think. Um, yeah, it's kind of all coming together, isn't it? It's it's quite an interesting storyline, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it's not the strongest thing you'll ever play, obviously. I think this game did completely revitalize Resident Evil. There was a franchise, obviously coming off five and six, um, and it was pretty well done the first person transition I think they did a lot of it right uh, and in my opinion yeah they really followed through with just the consistency and now that I'm actually getting to experience the game myself instead of watching someone else play it for once I think it's actually yeah it's 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 definitely a great game and I've enjoyed it thoroughly even though it terrifies me but that's part of the fun obviously um, and yeah I don't know but that said What's next? I really don't know. There's plenty of ways they could pick up after that point, unless that's the ending. I don't think it's the ending, though, from what I recall. Um, there we go. Now do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> she can just teleport up to me like that, bro. I am not having it. <laughs> Let's lay down a save while we can. I want to keep these saves alive for future achievements, so I'm going to start working down the save list and just overriding them. Um. I really don't know if I should be picking this stuff up as Mia, because, like, at the moment, like, in this current state, I have nothing. I just have machine gun ammo on me for barely any reason, honestly. Contents have been taken. Uh, destroy any subjected... Interesting. I can't read that very well. What's this about? Let's have a look. Something tells me this will be like a dead end. Just don't know why. I want to explore it though. And we got herbs and computer. What else we got in here? We got a strong box, lockpicks that I don't have, more machine gun ammo. 
more chem fluid. Like, what what is the point of picking all this stuff up with Mia? As I said, I kind of have a theory that... From what I remember as well, I think you come back through here as Ethan. And that's the person you want to pick this stuff up with. Yeah, see, that's locked. Does that need a corrosive? Is it one of those? I think so, but I used them all. So. Alright, elevator shaft it is. So we have ladder. Alright, I won't take ladder yet. We'll look in here. Can't, okay. Ladder it is. She's gonna be waiting at the top of the ladder. I hate these ladders, man. Most of the time there never is anything, but I can't help but wonder. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. I'll come back to that later. If that's the only place we can explore, then cool. That dude is whipped. Poor guy. Remote bomb, okay, that's not bad. There's an achievement to shove one of those down a molded's mouth, so if I do encounter any as Mia, that's pretty much my only option I have here, Even honestly. Still works. All right, so that's obviously the main way. I just wanna look around, try my best to explore everything I can, while I can, I guess. And then it goes back into the elevator shaft. This may have been that dead end that I was looking at before, or not. Another remote bomb. I can hear the fucking mist everywhere. I got absolutely nothing I can do about it either. That's devastating. <laughs> not throwing a remote bomb at him. Or am I? Nah, surely you come back through here. From what I remember you do, uh, I think that's what will cover that issue. So, I think it's okay to leave alone. See, why was it so dark when you... Oh, yes, I see it now. Okay, fair enough. Don't really need to have this equipped. Yeah, so I'll try and keep that in mind for future... If I do come back through here, I'm hoping I do. Maybe you see Ethan on these cameras. Ethan. There he is. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. Oh my goodness! Stop it, Evelyn! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? I don't think you're hallucinating that chain. So I went right before, didn't I? So it's in here. File, ship map, okay. What do we got? Uh, this floor's discovered. Alright, cool. And there's a staircase at the end. A lug wrench. Don't know what that'll do, but I'll take it. Uh, rem useful for removing nuts. Uh, maybe you can use that on that, on that door. That wasn't on this floor, was it? It was back down, I think. I mean, this is a dead end. I don't think you can go through here. You have to go back down the elevator shaft, which was possible. There was an option to do that. Yeah, I don't know if we get to come back, so I'm kind of tempted to... No, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. And it didn't even work. Great, what a waste. <laughs> How the hell did that not get him? Uh, where was that elevator shaft? It was back this way, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Just 
wasted my time essentially. She gonna tank that drop, huh? Well, there you go. Alright, so there'll be an edit there. I ended up dying to this dude trying to put the remote bomb down. Uh, this time he's not even here. Interesting. Don't know what the premise of that is. Alright, you can't use that here. So I died for nothing. Cool. Just wanted to know. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually end up looting this place to die. You can't use that on that either. Yeah, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself now. Thinking I can use that thing on everything. But yeah, I'm just doubling back through this room because I died. Um, I actually had to do a fair bit of backtracking to get back to where I was. Because I just died so stupidly, I suppose. So it makes sense. I can't get angry. But what you're supposed to do is use it on this thing, which is what makes sense. Yeah, but yeah, we're back. A little bit of a detour on my behalf, but obviously no one will see that on on the video's end. So it should be alright. Yeah, so we got to climb up and a climb down option. Uh, Lewis, the cable's completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to fix something in 3F sick bay. You're gonna have to go to ask Dr. Waddle for it. I'm needed down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there. Alright, I'm gonna go up first. Uh, this is the area I can make use. Oh, wow, we got a knife now. Good. This is where I can make use of this, though. Like, I just have to get into a grapple with said individuals and, um,. Then I should be able to establish. Yeah, I can put the remote bomb in their mouth. That's if he grapples, though. See, I don't know what causes the grapple, though. And I don't want to kill my. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Alright, but it didn't allow me to throw the remote bomb in his mouth for some reason, so I just wasted my health. Um. I got I can make two health things though, so I suppose I'm not in like an unbeatable situation. I am a bit cucked though, aren't I? Go around. Wonderfully done, if I do say so myself. Haven't been in here yet, so let me shut the door and this is the stash room, okay. Do we get to no we don't get to access all the stuff Ethan had. That makes sense. There's some corrosive, I can use that on that door. Another file. Uh, a recent report suggests that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Actors, yep, we've read this before. Have we been in here before? I'm not. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm gonna save though because I don't want it. A uh reoccurrence of what happened before and I'm also going to use these to make heals because if anyone needs them it's probably um Mia not Ethan because Ethan's already got a stash of them I can open this though there's another remote bomb yeah I was definitely in a grapple situation there I was mashing X just didn't want to do it. I would like to do that before, but now I got a save there. I can just come back after and attempt to do it. I suppose I don't know. I'm definitely not hacking this dude with a survival knife. That's for sure. I mean, the man has no arms, so maybe that's why. We're trying loop around him. I don't think I need to waste resources on bums like that. Don't think. Don't think so. Can you get through there? That's a good question. Maybe just despawned. Alright, cool. Don't know what we got in here. More remote bombs. Captain's key, cabin key locker. Okay. Strong chem fluid. Can use that to make 
enhanced handgun ammo. I don't have a handgun though. These are definitely like the go-to resource. Um, it's just this end room now, isn't it? Actually, I never went through here because I fucking ran off. Let me have a proper look in here. 16 years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. Resident Evil 2 and 3 reference. I like it. Chem fluid, okay. I'm just gonna use one on this dude. Fuck it. I'm sick of him following me, honestly. Dude's. Dude won't go away. So this goes up. I'm meant to be going down and finding fuses, but maybe this will lead somewhere important. I, I don't know. Let's go up anyway. Please don't jump scare me, Evelyn. Oh my god. Alright, two remote bombs is good. And a lockpick. Okay, not bad. And another mist everywhere that I can't get. That's frustrating as hell. I can't, I literally can't get to it. You need a gun. <laughs> I tried to air swing it, it didn't fucking work. Alright, well, definitely doing well on the remote, remote bomb stash. There's all mate, Mr. Grapple. What would we need the captain's key for? Would it be in here? Yeah, we haven't been in here on stage two yet. I don't. I don't think I should be risking grapples with this motherfucker because he's got heavy. He just swung. I'll try. You can tell when he goes for a grapple. Right, time to heal. Yeah, I don't think I should be silly with it. I should try it like after I finish the game instead of wasting health on like my my primary playthrough. You know, like when people are fucking watching. I shouldn't be an idiot. So, yeah, you be fucking. Kidding me. Freak. Alright, what do we got? More machine gun ammo. I'm guessing we find that thing somewhere. The thing we used in the flashback. Because there's ammo for it literally everywhere. So I'm starting to wonder what the... Where they're hiding it, honestly. anything over there? No. We haven't been in here yet. There's something that looks like a safe. Uh, it's a puzzle. Okay, cool. We can do that. Herbs, that's good. I can, I'm going to do that right now. Um, strong chem fluid herbs. She definitely needs the heals. Actually, she only really needs the heals because I'm being a flop. Uh, I see, okay. Green up. That the right way, and then... Purple in the other corner. Three corrosives. I uh, don't know what I'm going to need that for, but... Maybe it comes in handy, like if I go back in the elevator and go down. Like, it was necessary to come and find this stuff. Maybe it leads to... Uh, additional stuff that I wasn't meant to find. Now I have the resources to find. I don't know. I'm going to quickly check this door. I don't think it's corrosive locked. It's just... I don't know. This is the captain's... Let me go up. What haven't we done up? That's where we were before. Down is where we're supposed to be going. Um... the very bottom of the ship we haven't so there's a lockpick room up right um, we're not meant to be going up but there's a lockpick room here that I'm intrigued to have a look at so I'm gonna go up first I 
I have corrosive too, so I don't. Doesn't even necessarily have to be a lockpick room. There was an enemy here before. He didn't spawn when I came in here. Yeah, he's back. Okay. Oh, can keep this mine. Fat fuck. All right, I think it is corrosive. It's not lockpick. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't. It won't work. But we have three corrosives, so uh, this is one of those side areas that you probably only explore if you're proactive enough. Or maybe it's a damn main area, I couldn't tell you. Did not like that hallway, that's why I took it so slowly. Um, this looks like the room we were working towards. Oh, yeah, two chem fluids. You got a lockpick if one of these drawers are annoying to. What is that? Oh, that's a big motherfucker. Alright, cool. Let's go. Surely he's down after that. I came prepared, champ. Get the hell away from me. Power cable. Alright, there's number one. That we were meant to come up here. 100%. We needed that. No doubt about it. More corrosive. Beautiful. As this leads us to a shaft. Another remote bomb for our troubles. How many we got? Two. We're getting full, honestly. I don't even have inventory space anymore. Not accessible? Why not accessible? Interesting. It doesn't say it's locked. Yeah, it doesn't say there's anything wrong with it. That's interesting, definitely. That is that a glitch? I don't know what's up with that. I didn't think I'd have to backtrack there. Maybe it's because I killed the dude. You weren't meant to do that. <laughs> this is incredibly strapped with remote bombs. Yeah, I don't know. It's not necessary. The door, it's just a shortcut, but still interesting. Uh, this is what the lock picks for, actually. I just remembered. Yep, that was definitely what I wanted to do. Uh, that is what I wanted to do. An antique coin here. Interesting. Interesting. Because what's the point of having it if we're not going back to base? I don't know. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this episode off. Um, I just looked over at the timer, uh, I've got caught up, so there's definitely time for another episode, so this will not be the ending, next episode might be, uh, as I said, I don't know, maybe all three episodes of the week will be part of a Resident Evil 7 base playthrough, um, until we find out, I'm just gonna keep recording, and, uh, and then when we finish it, we finish it, but with that said, that's me for today, thank you guys for checking this video out, if you didn't up enjoying it, please do make sure you leave a like, drop a sub notification bell, also make sure to come check out my Twitch stream, Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. That's all I have to say though, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.